We begin by dressing the threads on the PVC drop pipe with Teflon tape so we can remove the joints when we're completed the test. The PVC drop pipe is connected with plastic couplers and they are lightly snugged together with a pipe wrench. Here we are attaching the pump to the bottom of the drop pipe. This particular pump is a one horsepower pump capable of pumping about 25 gallons a minute. It draws about 6 amps. Your elevator will need some kind of a swivel so that you can twist the pipes together without twisting the cable. Your pump is connected with the power supply using submersible heat shrink connectors. We've also added a quarter inch irrigation spaghetti line to provide air down to the pump so we can measure the static level of the well. And then there is the safety rope. Here is the swivel we use to attach the drop pipe elevator to the sand line without twisting the sand line cable as we twist the joints together. Here is our setup for feeding the rope and the power line down the well as we drop the pipe. Now the well motor is installed with the drop pipe and we're ready to begin our test. As we fire up the pump with our portable generator, the water will first come out with mud and sand and it'll be dirty for oftentimes a few minutes. But later that water will clear up and uh, we'll let the pump run for about four hours so we can develop a understanding of the aquifer and the, the production capability of the well. Finally, the water has turned clear and we're using the excess water to apply to the neighbor's lawn. The pressure gauge that we attached to the airline is pressurized and we can tell that after four hours, the static level has only dropped by 16 feet. Each pound of air pressure represents approximately 2.23 feet of static level above the pump. We can run up to a two horsepower pump on this 8.5 kilowatt generator. 